What's up guys, it's Daniel back here with another video and so I'm doing uh let me do this real quick. So as you can see the postseason right here, I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna click continue because I already have it. Um so these are my current rosters, what I think is gonna get into the um I forgot what's called the postseason. And I think Boston's going to nail it and go against New York. Um, Tampa Bay and Oakland. Houston, I think, is going to barely get in there. Um, San Diego and Atlanta. Uh, New York Mets and San Francisco. And I'll play as the Dodgers. First, hold on. Let me make sure. Oh, I didn't save it. No. Okay, whatever. Um, so it is the current ones, so I could show you right here, it's just pitching rotation, there's Trevor Bauer, Victor Gonzalez, everybody Nate Jones, you know, so basically I'm just going to record a video about this whole postseason, so, yeah, so it's a TBD, to be announced, so it's play game, yes I do, I do not. Oh, we're playing the New York Mets. Okay. So the Brewers lost, and I honestly I, I'm fine with that because like who cares honestly. So I'll play the Mets. Um, I'll choose. I don't know why. I just even if we're at home, I just love wearing these road jerseys. But I mean, since we're at home, we gotta rock the home ones. So, alright, guys. So enjoy. Um, I'm going to choose a stadium. I'll probably just choose Dodger Stadium, but enjoy. MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. Trevor Bauer will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in Game 1. Dan, any thoughts? Pride joy of the UCLA Bruins former number one draft pick with the Arizona Diamondbacks. This guy has really found himself good fastball. And he's one of these guys that he's into the new metrics. He likes to see that spin rate and that carry on the four seam fastball. Good fastball 95 to 97. His curveball though might be his out pitch. It's a 12 to 6 straight down curveball. One of the top pitchers in the league right now. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. 
Very seasonable temperatures here for October. 72 degrees at first pitch here in game one. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. The center field, number 11, Kevin Pillar. And the pitch. The cutter runs outside, ball one. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. His numbers against Trevor Bauer, just a one for nine. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. Fouled off. Popped up. Pujols is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. Taiwan Walker gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days. And now, meanwhile, here's a ball headed out toward deep left center field. And this is going to clear the wall, a home run. A solo home run there for Mookie. His first homer here in the series, and they've taken a one-run lead. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. Here's Corey Seager. Not your stop. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Ranging back is Pilar at the track. The wall. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. A solo home run for Corey Seager. His first homer so far in the series. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Into the box, Justin Turner. Back up the middle, scooped up. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Batting four, the second baseman, Max Muncy. At the plate, Max Muncy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. So here's Cody Bellinger. The center fielder. Cody Bellinger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Lined hard toward right center. A dive, but it's off his glove. The throw into second, not in time, and he's in there with a double. 
when he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and throw things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. Here's Albert now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. The run scores from second. It's a 3-0 game. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. Blake now, Zach McKinstry, as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Oh, but the feet of the shortstop is off the mark. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. He's set. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pilar's there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. Dodgers lead this one three to nothing. Second inning set to go, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First offering on its way. Late that time for a strike. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. One one a fastball high two and one now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there a big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. The count now at two and two. Pitch on the way. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And the pitch. Dominic Smith is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now. 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. So coming to the plate, James McCann. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. That misses one and two. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. A swing and a ground ball to third. The one two. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and his side is retired. 
Down in order go the Mets. They trail in this one 3 0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to stand in as the veteran pitcher, Trevor Bauer. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. Down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back, right fielder, Lopi. Stepping into the box, Mookie Betts. He'll look to duplicate his first at bat when he homered to open the inning. And that last at bat when he went deep. He... Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And he is in at second base with a one out double. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left his bat. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with the double. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager as he rips it on the ground to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Digging in, Justin Turner, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Walker comes set, first pitch on its way. Hard on the ground toward short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. They lead it three to nothing. With Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Van. Brandon Nimmo will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. Now back. That's six to this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Mets go down 1 2 3. The lead remains 5. It's 6 to 1. Seth Lugo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Into the box now, Corey Seager. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run.
Standing in now, Justin Turner. High in the air and deep to left center field. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Well, he hit that one pretty well all the way out to the warning track. And clearly, there's some hard dirt up. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The center fielder, number 25. Cody Bellinger at the Cody. plate now. He's roped a couple Bellinger. of doubles in three trips to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch popped up. Alonzo over to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Boy, talking about coming up with a big knock after that pop up it looked like the inning was potentially over big two out base hit to drive in a run yeah you watch your teammate and he turns this one around high and deep to center field now this will rattle up against the wall who isn't stopping here he comes to the plate is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team all set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. First delivery to him on the way. And that's in there for a strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Giving chase is Bellinger. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now that Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. No balls in one strike. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. So here's Pete Alonzo. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. So striding forward now, Austin Barnes. One for two in the ballgame thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Next up for Los Angeles, Trevor Bauer. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Now that is Here's Mookie Betts. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Here comes the first pitch. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. 
Wow, he almost made a heck of a play in left. Yeah, Matty, you can't fold the left fielder there. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't haul it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. Arotis Vizcaino enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Fouled off. Betts at second with two down. Now Corey with a swing and a deep drive to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a two-run homer for Corey Seager. His third home run of the ball game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball now, equivalent of a hat trick, baseball. and that's awfully Got hard there. to do. To the plate now, Justin Turner. He gets it hard on the ground to the left, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes, and that's exactly what happened right there. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. Now Muncy with a swing and a deep drive to right. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series as they just You're continue to pour it on here. Jacob Barnes comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's going to be way out of here. Back to back home run. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. His first homer so far in the series as the blowout continues. In now, Albert Pujols as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Now At the plate, Zach McKinstry as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A runner on first with two away. Line drive to left. Smith is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they really tee off here for five runs in the inning thanks in large part to three big flies. Eighth inning coming up. L.A.'s on top 13 to one. Riding into the box, Dominic Smith. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Behind 0-2 now. He struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. James McCann stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Hit in the air to center field. Bellinger's under it. In there, a base hit. Around second now, and this ball still hasn't been fielded. McCann takes the turn at third. He wants it all. He comes across to score as they inch back here, but there's still a ways to go. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the Parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get out of the top half of this inning. Michael Conforto is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1-0. Now the pitch. Line to the right side. 
but a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his windup. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the that strikeout one. there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. And it's fouled away. Again, another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. So it's one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left. Home Bottom of inning number eight set to go. go. And the catcher, the Austin Barnes, will the dig into bat next. First delivery to him on the way. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Wow, nine home runs. D. Rodin, when's the last time you saw a power performance like this from two competing teams? You're hey, thanks, team. Matt. Yeah, you know what? Dodger Stadium has always been known for a very high mound, and pitchers love to pitch in this ballpark. And D. Rodin, when the sun goes down and that marine layer air comes in, this is a tough yard to hit the ball on. It's going right there, Dan. Day game, this place plays completely different, but to do it at night, that's why it was such an impressive performance today for them to move traffic all over the yard today. Not easy to do. Line toward the gap in left center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. I think they're way past due changing their approach to this guy. Whatever they're doing, strategy-wise, it's not working. That's his third double of the game, so he's feeling pretty good at this one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now about it. Two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. From the belt, the pitch line drive to center field and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning and here's Jose Peraza starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point these guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats you can't mill in your chances as a professional and a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, when you're out there trying to wrap up a CG, a complete game, you definitely don't want to start the leadoff guy with three straight balls. I think he would have liked the green light there. It's 2-1. and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 oh changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Now the 2-1. Popped him up. But this will land untouched. The 2-2. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now that. Stepping up now, Francisco Lindor. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Got him. 
as he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Ready for another chance? Kevin Pillar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Left side. On to Albert at first, and this ball game is over. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important. In the